So this, uh, this example seven is like a general kind of reading question. Got to read the info carefully. It can be confusing if you don't read the info. So if you want to attend this kind of question, uh, of course, please organize your information. So in this question, we got a fridge okay, at the convenience store and we got 30 ice cream cones and 50 ice cream cups. So the ice cream come in either cones or cups. So I got 30 cones here and I got 50 cups. Okay, organize our information first. So it, it will be either chocolate or vanilla. So one third of the cones are chocolate flavored. That means one third of the cone. So we can calculate how much is one third. One third of 30. So you might need to do some calculation. So that will be 10. So you got 10 chocolates. And then obviously the other two will be vanilla. So read the information, organize the information before we even try to answer. Okay, then where else? Half of the cups are vanilla. That means, right, you got 25 cho cho chocolates and then you got 25 vanilla. Okay, so right now, here, okay, the keyword is you're going to be choosing the ice cream from the fridge. You are choosing your ice cream from a fridge. That means it could be either cones or cups as long as it's ice cream. So your total choices, your to total choices will be 50, 30 plus 50. So 30 plus 50. And from here, we try to answer. So out of the 80 ice cream, what is the chance that you will get an ice cream cup? So out of the 80, we got 50 cups. So that's the interpretation. Okay, so then out of the 80, what's the chance that I will get a chocolate Chocolate cone, read carefully. Chocolate cone. So there is only 10 chocolate cone. So it's 10 out of 80. So be careful. If the question didn't specify chocolate cone, if the question specify uh, simply a chocolate ice cream, then it could also be the drain five here. So if the priority is just a chocolate ice cream, then it will be 10 plus 25 over 80. So that is 35 over 80. So we're going to read carefully whether it's a chocolate flavored ice cream or just a chocolate cone. Okay, the last one, probability that is a vanilla. So as long as it's a vanilla, it doesn't matter whether it's a cone or cups. So we got 20 cones. And 25. So it would be 20 plus 25. So you've got to read carefully exactly what they want. Okay, so this kind of question, just read and organize your information. Okay, it shouldn't be too difficult unless you miss out information. Okay, example A is the kind where you use frequency table. So if you are using frequency table, you've got to be mindful of the language and also mindful of what is the table telling you. So if you look carefully, this table below shows the number of siblings 80 students have. So you can imagine there's 80 students in front of you. Uh, maybe you can visualize there are two classes of students okay, because I think roughly one class got 40 students, right? So two classes will be 80 students. So you go each of them and ask, hey, how many siblings you have? So you're asking the 80 students here. So out of the 80 students, 34 of them said that they got no sibling. That means they are the only child, right? 
Okay, and 18 of them said that they got one sibling. Okay, then uh, 12 of them said that they got two siblings each. Okay, so 10 of them got three siblings each. Six of them got four siblings each. Actually, this one will be an ideal question also if they ask for you, ask for the mean numbers of siblings. That means the average number of siblings. So you might want to go and think about it. If I want the average number of siblings, I will need the total sibling. That means average number of siblings uh, each student have. So I will need the total number of siblings divided by the total number of students. So I'm going to add up all the numbers, all their siblings. And then I divide by 80 students. So you can go and think about it. Okay, so but right now, uh, my concern is not getting the mean. My concern is to uh, interpret the probability. Okay, so right now, so you interpret the probability. So we're going to choose a student. We're going to be choosing from the student. So I got 80 students to choose. So out of the 80, I'm just going to choose one of them. So what is the probability that the student has no sibling? That means zero sibling. So if you look at the table, right? So just now when you were asking all the 80 students, right? 34 responded, they say that they got no sibling. So that means there are 34 possible students who have no sibling out of 80. Okay, then the, here comes a tricky one. At least one sibling. So when we say at least one sibling, it can be one sibling or more. It means it can be one sibling, two sibling, three sibling, or four sibling. So these are the actual these are the number of students who have more one or more. So at least one sibling. So at least one sibling, you add up the total. 18 plus 8, 12 plus 10 plus 6 over 80. So you do that, you will get 23 over 40. Another way will be, okay, another way will be at least one sibling. So the opposite of at least one sibling is no sibling. So I can do it this way as well. So no sibling will be 34 over 80. I will still get the same answer. So at least one sibling, it can be one, two, three, four. So instead of adding up the one, two, three, four, I might as well take the opposite. So that's another approach. Okay. The next one sometimes also will be a bit tricky. So the next one is like more than two. So when we say more than two, right, sometimes the, the concern will be, so is two siblings included? So no, two siblings is not included. So in this case, right, more than two means is three sibling or four sibling. So it's just these two category. Okay, so this kind of question uh, can be a bit tricky. Please read for information. Make sure you can interpret the table first before you try answering because the, the language sometimes they put in can be a bit tricky. Maybe it won't be tricky now because yeah, this is a basic probability, but it gets to set four, there will be other probability involved that, that looks similar. So just bear in mind, just always be reading the question.